All right, this is the fastest way to install FFmpeg on your Windows 11. Head to your preferred search engine and look up FFmpeg. Then head to FFmpeg top homepage where you'll find everything you need. Click the download button and scroll down a bit until you reach the get packages section where you'll need to select Windows as the operating system. And from the two download options, select builds from Gyan.dev because they're stable, popular, frequently updated, and best for general use. Now scroll down a it and take a look at the top master branch section where you have two options to pick between the essential and the full FFmpeg pack. Pick the full FFmpeg pack so you get all codecs, encoders, and advanced features right away. This ensures you won't run into limitations later when working with different file formats. Download it and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Now look up the downloaded file, which is a .7z archive file that needs to be extracted, and extract it right there in the folder you downloaded it to. Then once the extraction completes, you can delete the downloaded archive file since you won't need it anymore. Before you install it properly, you will need to rename it and relocate it to make it easier to find and work with in the future. So first rename the folder to FFmpeg, then cut the folder and paste it in a location where it won't be accidentally deleted, such as your main drive, which likely is drive C. Now open the folder and then open the bin folder inside it. Leave this folder open because you will need it in a moment moment when setting up the system path. Next, run a terminal in admin mode by right-clicking on the start menu and selecting the admin option. Then type the following command, setx space slash m space path space and a double quotation mark, which is the first part of the command we need to add ffmpeg to your system path. Then go back to the file explorer you left open and copy the folder path and paste it back in the terminal. At the end of the command, you just started typing. Then continue typing semicolon and percentage, sign path percentage sign, and close with a double quotation mark to complete the full path command, and run it by pressing enter. It should say success if everything went correctly, which means FFmpeg is almost ready to use system-wide. Now just restart your PC to make sure the path changes take effect properly, and just in case, I will leave the command below in the description so you can copy it if needed. Once it restarts, open up the terminal again, and type FFmpeg-version, and run it to verify the instant installation was successful. And there it is. FFmpeg is successfully installed and ready to use for all your video conversion needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tech guides like this one. See you in the next video.